Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can use your iPad in conjunction with your MacBook to create a document camera to use for instruction with your students via Zoom. Uh, it's pretty simple setup. You can do one of two things. Either you can have your iPad right here on the table next to you, and then using a stylus, you can use your favorite whiteboard app, the Notes app, Explain Everything, Show Me, Educreations. There's lots of them in the white or in the App Store. And you could simply use your stylus and do your whiteboard digitally. Or you can use a locker stand like this one and use this as a makeshift document camera stand for your iPad. I'm going to show you both ways here. So first thing is when you are in Zoom, you're going to go ahead and click on share screen. And you see that there's an option here to share your screen via an iPad via a cable. So for the cable, what you'll do is you'll plug your iPad charger right into the iPad. And then instead of plugging your iPad into the wall, you are going to plug it into an adapter that plugs into your MacBook. Now your MacBook Pros do require a USB-C connection and your typical iPad uses an USB connection. And so what you'll need to do is buy an adapter that's a USB-C to USB. I'll post a link to one in the description of this video. Now, once you're connected here, I can click on share and then I'm gonna hit trust on my iPad. And now you should be able to see my iPad screen. See that it's in bordered green here. That means my students are only seeing my iPad screen. They're probably not gonna see my video, my face as well, right? But what that means is that if I need to do some direct instruction using a whiteboard, if I didn't bring a whiteboard home, I can just use my iPad, right? So I can here I can open up my notes app, and then here I can you know start writing sentences. Um, I can do conjugation charts. I can solve equations. Um, I can do sentence diagramming, and so forth, right? And uh, again, you can use whatever whiteboard app makes sense to you. Now, if you don't have a good stylus and instead you want to use your iPad like a document camera, uh, here I'll go home. And now what you can do is just use the camera app of your iPad. So here I'll open up the camera. And right now it's facing the table. But if I place it on top of this locker stand here, like oh, sideways right now, there we go like so. Let's make sure that the camera lens fits inside one of the slots of this locker stand like that. You should be able to now see the full piece of paper. Right. And if I need to, get rid of the border, I can just zoom in on the camera, all right, just using a pinch gesture. And so now all they'll see is just the paper. And I don't have very good lighting here in my room, but if you have some good lighting, all those shadows of the paper will go away as well. And now I can write out my sentences, I can do my equations, I can have a notebook here and flip my pages. This also lets me show other things, like I could show um, you know, a book, Dogzilla. Or if I am teaching math or science and I need to show some sort of you know, 3D model, I can show them in 3D here. Right? So there are, or use manipulatives or whatever else I need to do for my instruction. So as you can see, for just a few bucks, you can now present your students with a whiteboard, either digital, or physical, and you'll be able to share that via Zoom as part of your instruction. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to email me as always. Thanks for watching.